Okay, welcome everybody. Let me just straighten myself out. I look a little crooked. There we go. Today's class is an interval based class, high intensity interval training, as its name. Today's class, we're going to be doing Tabata. So, today's format, I'm going to be alternating 20 second interval of strength with 20 seconds of cardio. So because the interval is so short, I want you to have a moderate to challenging load, have lighter weights around you in the event that you need to go to something lighter. It can be done, today's class can be done with a barbell and or dumbbell. So I'll be using a combination of the two of those things. We'll start with just a good dynamic warm up to get the blood flowing, connect the mind and the muscle, lubricate the joints, rehearse some of the movements, and then we'll get right into our workout. So again, to remind you of Tabata, we're going to work hard for 20 seconds. We're going to rest for. We're going to do eight sets in one interval. As I said, we're going to be all a strength movement with a cardio movement. So we'll get the benefit of both worlds today. So get your weights that you need. Make sure you have a towel, some water around you, and we're going to get our workout started. So make sure you set your dumbbells and barbells off to the side so you're not going to trip on them. I'll turn the music on and make any adjustments that we need so that you can hear me properly.
warm up complete. Level one, march. Level two, toe tap. Level three, high knee jog. 20 10, seconds. Nine. Get ready eight, to go. Seven. Chest up this, shoulders down and back. Five, Imagine a tennis ball between those shoulders legs. Three, two, high knee jog. One, Let's go. Cycle three. Grab the bar. Grab the dumbbells and grab the preferred. Feet shoulders apart. Chest lifted. Control squat. Down. Swimming squat. Knees are staying over the top of the shoelaces. Weight is back to the heels. Pressing up to the heels from outside into the feet. Do not walk. Knees or the walk and step forward. Three. Cycle four complete. Four down, four to go. Move back to our march. Three Toe down. Tap or jaw. 20 seconds. Let's go. Come it up, come it up. You can bring it forward and back. We have our program to keep that finish 20 seconds. At the intensity level, you can challenge yourself with it. This is our first two items. And it's also about to get a few more coming up. Let's go, let's go. Three. Keep it together. Two. One. Awesome work. Lower down, right to five. Complete. Back to straight. Work on the shoulder. Knees up apart. Chin lifted. Shoulders down the back. Work. Let's work. Down and up. Inhale. Exhale. 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 Down and up. Inhale. Exh
I'm going to switch up your lead leg. You're ready to go. Tabata right two. Out, out, in, in. Ten, nine, eight, seven. Lift it, shoulders six, down the back, kind of falling into the shoulder blade. Four, You're ready to go. Three, two, one. Good work. work. So then you're going to run. We want your knees high. We want your legs wide. You can add up your two little legs. We have a couple more. Come on, come on. Woo! Keep breathing, keep working. Keep the head up high. Go down, go down. Two, good. One. Rest. Grab your forward head, bend your knees. Grab that low or dumbbell. Complete. Same movement pattern. Thank you. 
Nevada 2 complete. Recover for 30 seconds. Three, two, one, rest. Awesome. One 
Cycle seven complete.
Cycle five Next complete. Drop down. Going up. Prepare. Shoulders down and back. Work. Breathe. Lower.
complete. Tabata 6, complete. Recover for 30 seconds.
three, two, one, rest. Cycle three, complete. Prepare. These guys are articulating through the spine on the way up and that way down, not walking up nine, like a eight, seven, Reska. six, knees five, up, hands four, behind the head, three, a bicycle, two, any direction you like. Three, 
cycle two complete. That's the cycle. That's the cycle. That's the Six complete. One more of each team, and we're done. You're doing an awesome job. Prepare. Let's get back. Hands and ears. Work. Let's go. Keep the 
shoulder down. Your gaze can be up to the ceiling or over to that right shoulder. So the knee is coming over and up. And staying right there. This is a great stretch because it has so many muscles. From the biceps into the chest, oblique, hip, glutes, and thigh. Come back to the middle. Plant your right foot down. Bring your left leg up. Pull the your lower leg. Chest and head down. Pull the leg in towards the body. Keep the toes towards the nose. And we're going to switch up the posterior side of that left leg. Now, if you look in the air, get sit down to lower your right knee. Grab hold of your right leg and gently pull it to your side. Just keeping the shoulders and the head down to the mat. You want to feel this in the left hip and glute. Try to keep the left knee and coming into the midline of your body. Put your legs with your head with your left elbow. Now line up the knees side by side, give them a hug, cut the chin and chest, and just breathe into the middle back, into the lower back. Straighten your all the muscles that are running all the back, along the spine. Head and shoulders rest back, keep your left leg in, twist your right leg up and straight. And hold here. Remember, take time for your muscles to chest. It's okay to relax. So you just got to hold it there for those proprioceptors to shut down and let your muscles be sure to the resting place. Your left arm goes to the side, using your right hand to bring your knee across the body and then gently pull it up towards the shoulder. Keep the left shoulder down and again, your gaze to the ceiling or over to the left side. Whatever feels comfortable for you. Holding and breathing. Think of the shoulder, torso, glutes, and hips and thighs. Come back to the middle. Plant your left foot, bring your right leg up. Hold at the lower leg. Claw that leg in. Give it a hug and pull. Toes to the nose. And stay right here. So again, stretch knees to the lower leg. Down into your hamstrings. Round your glutes and lower back. Right heel, bring it down below your left knee. Grab hold of your left thigh. Rest your head back and gently pull that left thigh into your body. Keeping the right knee away from the midline. Focusing on that right hip. Deep into that hip joint. Line at the knee, side by side. Again, give them a hug. Chin to the chest. And gently rock and roll forward and back and bring yourself all the way up. Let's just drop the legs, come up into a sitting position, shoulders down and back. Take a deep breath in. Exhale out. Hands come behind you. Wrap the hands to the ground, slide them away. Lift the chin and open up the chest. You want to feel a lengthening through the bicep. Into the front of the shoulder, cross all the muscles of the chest and into the neck. And then we're going to reverse this. We're going to bring our arms forward, reach away, scoop in the belly, pull the shoulder blades apart, tuck the chin to the chest, and switch up the upper back. The muscles that run in between the shoulder blades and the ones that run along the spine. Now come all the way forward, placing your hands to the ground, chin to the chest. Really focus on the lower back and the top of the hip. Then let's roll ourselves up. Take a deep breath in. And exhale out. And again, deep breath in. And exhale out. And give yourself a hand. Awesome work today. The body training is one of the hardest of the interval protocols to use. So make sure, again, if you need a little bit more time to stretch or to cool down, that you take the time to do that. Make sure you have something to eat, something to drink, rehydrate, and refuel your muscles. Uh, tomorrow I'm not teaching because tomorrow's Wednesday, but I'll be back Thursday again at one o'clock. Uh, yesterday uh, we experienced a lot of technical difficulties because uh, Microsoft was having some issues. So 
Uh, it created a challenge for a yoga class and some of our other uh, midday classes. So hopefully everything is operating uh, back to normal as we progress into uh, the rest of this week. Uh, we look for a slight change in our October schedule. We're going to be adding some other virtual classes that you can access through our YouTube channel or our Microsoft Streams channel. So again, giving you something different and a different instructor as well. So have a great day. Thanks for joining me and stay safe.